Hello and welcome to the Indie Commerce video documentation on changing themes in Drupal 7. Keep in mind this information is intended to be used in conjunction with the written documentation on the same subject in the Indie Commerce Help Center on bookweb.org. Just navigate over to bookweb.org and the top green menu bar go to e-commerce and ebooks, then to Indie Commerce and finally IC Help Center. In this video we'll take a look at how to work with different themes for your site. Keep in mind we will not be discussing all of, the, all of the differences between themes. Instead, we'll be talking about how to enable and disable themes and how to work on a different theme from the one your customers currently see. This is useful if you decide to change the look of your site. You'll want to prepare the new theme before making it visible to your customers. A theme in Drupal parlance is the very look of the site, including layout, color, and in some cases, fonts, etc. Of course, a site's individuality comes mostly from the choice of titles, text, and images that a store decides to post on their site, but the framework in which the content is displayed is a function of the theme. Indie Commerce offers some 50 themes right out of the box, and you can see those by clicking the Appearance link in the top administration menu bar. The top of this page will show you whatever theme has been chosen as the default, that is, the one your customers see. A little lower down, you see other themes that have been enabled that can be used as the default. And then below that we have a list of disabled themes. These can be used on your site but would need to be enabled first. To enable a theme, just click the Enable link. If you click Enable and Set Default, that theme will immediately be visible to customers. Any theme can be chosen as the default, but it is best to enable a theme and configure it first before making it your default. For instance, let's say that you currently have a theme that has a left and right sidebar. Then you enable a different theme that has only a left sidebar. If you make this your default theme, what you'll notice is that all of the blocks from your right sidebar will disappear. Some of those blocks will be disabled, and others will be shoehorned into the left sidebar. Since these are decisions that you'll want to make for your site, you'll want to configure the theme before making it your default. Once a theme is enabled, it moves up to the Enabled section on the page, and becomes one of the themes that you can make changes to and use on your site. Once a uh, theme has been enabled, you can change the settings on it by clicking the Settings tab. Some themes have a lot of possible settings, while others have few or none. We'll take a look at Aberdeen uh, very briefly. Just to show you, every theme comes with a list of uh, a toggle display that is a, a list of elements that can be turned on or off. And in this case, the Aberdeen theme also allows you to upload a custom logo and a custom shortcut icon. Other themes will have other settings that you can also play with. When a theme is enabled, any changes that you make to its configuration are saved. As long as the theme remains enabled, the configuration is saved. But if the theme is disabled, the configuration will revert to the default settings for that theme. If you re-enable the theme, you'll also need to reconfigure it. There is one more theme worth mentioning. It is the 7 theme, and it's the theme that you see whenever you're administering the site. This is a theme that doesn't display blocks, so it is useful when processing orders, since content blocks from your home page often cover up other info on the order processing page. At the very bottom of this page, you can dictate any theme as the administrative theme, but we recommend sticking with the 7 theme for that purpose. When a site is first created by Indie Commerce, it is given the responsive Bardic theme. This theme was chosen because of the fact that it is relatively easy to work with while having a few desirable features built in. But of course, not all stores want to use the Bardic theme. Again, it is possible to come directly to this appearance page and choose any theme to be enabled and to be your default, but again, this is not recommended. 
So you have a theme that your customers currently see, but you want to work on a different theme. Of course, you don't want your customers to see the new theme before it's fully configured, so how do you get the new theme ready before making it visible to customers? As it turns out, Drupal has a tool called Theme Key that will allow you to enable a theme and make it the default theme for your account only. Then you can test it on your site and make changes to it while keeping it hidden from your customers. When the new theme is ready, it can then be chosen as the default. First, you need to visit this appearance page and enable any themes that you think you might want to use. Keep in mind, Drupal recommends enabling only one or two themes at a time to keep your staff from becoming confused. But in this case, we want to try a number of different themes on the site, so I've enabled three additional themes, Aberdeen, Bamboo, and Bootstrap Business. Once I have the desired themes enabled, I need to set up the Theme Key tool. This will allow me to display any of my enabled themes as if it were the default as long as I'm logged into my account. So I go to Configuration, User Interface, and Theme Key. On that page, I click the Settings tab all the way at the top right. And again, on the next page, you want to click the user interface tab again all the way at the top right. On the final page is the link that we need at the top left of the page. Click on selectable themes to open a list of the themes that you have chosen as enabled on the site. On the right, each theme has a checkbox. All of the themes that you check here will be available to privately view on the site. So let's just check all of them and then click Save Configuration at the very bottom. Now we have configured the Theme Key tool, so let's put it to use. Using the Hello link in the top admin menu bar, go to your own account page. From there, click the Edit tab. On the edit page for your account, you'll want to scroll down a little bit and look on the left hand side. You're looking for this link, Theme Configuration. Clicking this will show you the list of the enabled themes that you selected for the Theme Key tool. The first option at the top says don't switch the theme. As long as this is selected, you will see the same theme as the default that your customers see. If you select any other theme, and click Save at the bottom. Then that theme will be shown to you when you go back to your home page. As long as you're logged into your admin account, you will see the selected theme. So let's go back to the home page. And now we can see that we're using a different theme. This is the Aberdeen theme. Now it is possible to add or move blocks, change the colors if the theme allows it, and generally tinker with the look of the theme, again, if the theme allows it. So again, if we wanted to change to a different theme, and go back to the hello link that brings me back to my account, and again I go to the edit tab, click Theme Configuration, and choose a different theme to be my default. You'll notice these are radio buttons. You can only select one at a time. If I go to the bottom here and click Save, and then go back to my home page again, I will see yet a different theme. And again, I can use this to configure a theme, place the blocks, change the colors, move things around until I feel it, it is ready to become my default theme and uh, visible to my customers.
and this is the bamboo theme. Again, it needs to be configured. It does not look great. Uh, I'd want to change things around, move blocks around, and probably change colors on that. And that is how you use the theme key tool.